less testosterone at the table is often a helpful thing. During the campaign, people often said to me, oh, so what do you think about this as a woman? And I would say, I'm first and foremost a, pro a professional. I happen to be a woman. Now, one year and two months into office, I'm beginning to see this differently. I do think there's a really, really important space that women have to occupy. And the reason is because we look at life through a different lens. When we talk about migration in the Mayor's Migration Council, we are focused on 360 vision of migration. Diaspora going back, migrants moving out, but in every single piece of that, there has to be humanity and compassion, and there has to be choice provided, so no one is acting from a position of desperation. Every year, about 5,000 young people from Sierra Leone will make that very dangerous journey trying to get to the West. Those journeys are being done, risking their lives in order to have a better life. As a mayor from a city of origin, but also destination, because I talked about my population growth, that's rural migration, people coming into my city, but I also have people leaving my city for other countries. What matters is that we create in all of our cities, in line with the SDG, the Sustainable Development Goals, we create resilient cities that provide opportunities for all. Freetown's population through internal migration is growing at the rate of 4.2% per annum. By 2028, if everything goes in the same pace, we're going to have a city of almost 2 million people living on 357 square kilometers of land. In terms of the impact on the environment, which is driven by that population explosion, people really looking for homes, housing, the buildup of informal settlements has on a really practical level meant that in the absence of proper policies and planning, indiscriminate cutting down of trees. So the loss of forestation, the loss of mangroves, which are critical to biodiversity. A thousand or so people lost their lives in a very short space of time, um, just a few minutes. Until four weeks earlier, I lived two doors away from the last house that disappeared. So neighbors started calling me and saying, Auntie Von, Auntie Von, you know, that people are covered, people are buried. Um, so I mean, literally, my hands were shaking. I was, you know, just barely able to pull some clothes on, um, jump into my car and drive up to the mountains where I used to live. We actually used my old apartment um, as the command center um, to begin to um, process victims, begin to get names and, and, and the statistics of people. So seeing it, experiencing it, feeling it, um, and, and for everybody who goes to Freetown today, there is a, literally a big hole in the mountain um, that you just can't miss. That spoke to the urgency of the need for there to be care, consideration, and control in the deforestation that goes on around the world, but particularly in our context, where you are talking about steep mountain slopes. You can influence what happens. So let's all be conscious, because what seems to be an innocuous activity in your day-to-day -day life can actually have really devastating impacts in other parts of the world.